Can you have polycystic ovary syndrome with normal hormone levels? Let's talk about it. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a metabolic disorder that can affect your hormones. Metabolic disorders natively alter your body's processing and distribution of macronutrients. Those are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Metabolic disorders are rooted in hypothalamic dysfunction, and that's because your hypothalamus controls your metabolism. When your hypothalamus becomes dysfunctional, it will contribute to the hormonal imbalances that are common in PCOS. Hormonal imbalances of PCOS include low progesterone levels due to anovulation or not ovulating regularly. Low progesterone contributes to estrogen dominance and insulin resistance. Women with PCOS have high levels of androgen or male hormones, which cause hirsutism or hair and male patterns like on your face or chest, as well as acne. And weight gain, especially around your middle, can indicate insulin resistance. Oftentimes, women with PCOS will have what appears to be normal female hormone levels, but if you look at the estrogen level in relationship to the progesterone level, you can see estrogen dominance. You may have progesterone levels that are high enough to indicate that you are ovulating, but they're too low for how much estrogen you're making, which creates an estrogen dominant state. You can continue to have periods on a regular basis and still have polycystic ovary syndrome because of your estrogen dominant state. The key hormonal imbalance in PCOS is high androgen levels. You have different cells in your ovaries. Theca cells help developing follicles by producing the androgen substrate that granulosa cells turn into estrogen. In PCOS, Theca cells produce too much androgen, leading to too much estrogen and testosterone-related side effects. Your androgens, testosterone and DHEA, may still be within normal limits, but too high for you. So checking hormone levels doesn't always give us the big picture of PCOS. Polycystic ovary syndrome is diagnosed by symptoms, irregular periods, including missing periods or very long cycles, infertility, signs of estrogen dominance with increased belly fat in spite of dieting and exercising, signs of hirsutism, hair on the face, chest, back, or excessive hair on the limbs or pubic area, acne and male pattern balding are also signs of hyperandrogenism. These can be signs of polycystic ovary syndrome, even if your sex hormones are still in normal ranges. It's one of the reasons I don't check female hormones unless you're trying to get pregnant. If infertility is an issue, then I'll check progesterone levels about one week before you expect to have a period to see if you're ovulating and if you're making enough progesterone to carry a pregnancy and not miscarry. The main reasons that hormone levels are not accurate in diagnosing PCOS is, number one, you rarely come into a healthcare provider with your baseline hormone levels before you develop imbalances, so we don't know what your norm is. And number two, you can be at high level of normal or low end of normal with your hormones and it'll be abnormal for you, but it looks normal to your healthcare provider. So tracking hormonal levels can be a little bit tricky to put the big picture together. One of the classic signs I see with PCOS is a young woman who may be having a little irregularity with her periods, yet her follicle stimulating hormones still indicate she's making enough estrogen for her. Her luteinizing hormone is still saying that she's ovulating. Her testosterone levels are not too high, nor are her DHA levels too high, but she has an elevation in cardioreactive protein, an inflammatory marker of the cardiovascular system, which is often elevated in women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Another elevation that I see in women with polycystic ovary syndrome that is not usually looked at is a hormone called prolactin. And while it's usually not above normal, it's discircadian, meaning they make too much of the prolactin during the day, which can block the effectiveness of their female hormones. So while their female hormones look like they're in normal ranges, hormones are not really getting into the cells because of the high prolactin level. We talk a lot about PCOS in our hormone support group, which you can get access through our free hormone reboot training. While hormonal imbalances may not show in your blood work, if you have PCOS, you are out of balance hormonally. So you need to get back into balance. And the best way to get your hormones back into balance naturally is to support your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus controls your adrenal glands, which are producing too much DHEA, which contributes to polycystic ovary syndrome. Your hypothalamus helps control glucose metabolism, and insulin resistance is a big issue in PCOS, contributing to the metabolic disorder, as well as infertility.
And your hypothalamus controls your ovaries production of sex hormones to help regulate your periods and increase fertility. Supporting your hypothalamus with Genesis Gold can help to mitigate many of your symptoms and balance your body to prevent hirsutism, reverse insulin resistance, regulate your periods, and increase fertility. I'll see you in the next video.